Hi everybody, uh, another video on hand warmers. This time it's uh, Jack Pike ones. These have got like a sort of a green gel in. I think there's, uh, there's of course there's other ones available. I don't, the colour doesn't really matter. Um, they work, I don't know how, on a principle of a sort of a reaction. I don't think it's a chemical reaction, there's something else. But I'm not going to go into that on this video. Um, somebody's done a video on how they actual they actually work. Now of course you get two of these, they're really cheap, there's loads available and all you do to activate them is as you can see there's like a little disc in there you can see that shining, all you do is you press the disc and maybe you heard that and that's a weird reaction starts inside and you get sort of an instant heat. The instructions say that you should mash large them about a bit so that the mixture is consistent throughout and then that's ready. They'll start to solidify a bit and then you've got your hand warmer. Fantastic! Okay, uh, if you suffer from cold hands particularly, some people have got like Raynard's disease and that sort of thing and they get particularly cold hands. Um, you can put them in your gloves but usually mitts are the best thing. I've done a review on these. There's different types, but a mitt is the best thing because you can just shove it inside the mitt. Right? There you go, inside. You put it on. You can either have the uh, hand warmer on the inside or on the outside of your fingers. Either way, it doesn't really matter. They're fantastic. And inside a mitt like this, it's just amazing. You never get cold fingers again. Um, so if you walk in the dog or whatever, uh, these hand warmers should last for the duration of the walk as long as it's not really more than an hour because the downside to these is that they only last about three quarters of an hour hot like this and then they start to go off pretty quick. Um, the upside is that you can reuse them over and over again. And the way to do that is, I mean I've got a, an old kettle here, what I do is just put it on a boil Okay, then don't boil these inside the kettle because, um, uh, by the way, that's how you reactivate these. You, you boil them. You can actually do it in a pan on the stove if you want, but this is far easier. Boil the kettle, wait for it to boil. Don't boil them inside. Just wait for it to go off the boil. Just drop them in there, leave them in the kettle. About 15 minutes later, um, they'll be ready again. Okay, they won't reactivate straight away while they're still hot. But uh, you can actually use the heat from the kettle on these and put them in your gloves again until they cool down, then they'll reactivate. Okay, so there's another tip for you. Um, so you can use them over and over again, which is great. So it's good if you need them for a short duration. So that's uh, Jack Pipe uh, hand warmers for you. Okay, job done.